On June 7th through 9, the members of the Susquehanna Conference, both the clergy and the laity, will come together from the north and the south and the east and the west to meet for three days of holy conferencing at our annual conference session. Shall we gather at the river? In Psalm 46 we read, A river and its streams bring joy to the city, which is the sacred home of God Most High. Our theme, The River Flows, will be our theme for the year and for this session. The river flows in us. The river flows in us. A symbolic description of how God's Spirit flows in us. The river flows through us. We're called to reach out to others with that wonderful good news of Jesus Christ living in us and through us to others. And the river flows beyond us. The river flows beyond the confines of our church, beyond the confines of our annual conference session, beyond any confines that we might place upon it. Throughout my ministry, annual conference sessions have been a highlight. I rejoice in the power of worship as hundreds of voices are raised in praise of God. I delight in the power of being in the presence of so many clergy and laity, some of whom I see only once a year and others I meet for the first time. I remember a time several years ago when I sat across the table from Shirley at a meal and we began sharing our stories and Shirley told me of a very sad time in her life as a lay person. She was, she had gone through a, a very tragic divorce. We kept in touch. It wasn't long before Shirley shared with me the glad news that she had found a wonderful man and they were getting married and they were merging their families together. Several years passed and I became the district superintendent of the church that Shirley attended. One of those threads that was opened at an annual conference session. I'm energized by presentations at annual conference which challenge me to rethink my own ideas of ministry. I'm inspired anew in the awesome experience of ordination. What do you look forward to as you anticipate annual conference? This year, we'll experience all of that and more. Our presenter will be Bishop Mike Lowry, a dynamic and experienced leader in church growth. I hope you'll check out his message on the website. We'll remember our colleagues who have entered the Church Eternal. Our preacher for that service is Reverend Roger Menser. You'll have the opportunity during lunch period on Friday to take part in several workshops. Some of those to be offered will be two offered by the United Methodist Communications. One of those will be on Imagine No Malaria and the other on Rethink Church, giving you ideas for how you can do church in new ways. In addition, Mark Terwilliger will offer an inspirational workshop on global music and the Hoovers will share their experience and missions. This year, as usual, we, re we will receive three offerings will receive an offering for the Cup of Water Fund, which provides funds for laity who find themselves in difficult financial positions. We'll receive an offering for Mission Central, and you're well aware of the extraordinary ministry offered by that wonderful creation of our conference. This year we'll also receive an offering for Encounter with Christ. This is a permanent endowed fund for ministry to Latin America and the Caribbean. Already, because of the corpus, the principle that has been gathered for this fund, about half a million dollars have been distributed to ministries throughout Latin America and the Caribbean. Some of those in places where some of you have been in your own ministries. This fund provides permanent funding into the future because of generosity, and I encourage you to support all of these funds as you always do. We begin our annual conference with registration on Thursday, June 7th. It starts at 7.30 a.m. The clergy and laity sessions will take place at 9.30, 
And our opening celebration is at 2 o'clock on Thursday. Annual conference concludes following ordination on Saturday, which begins at 2.30 on Saturday. It's my prayer that you will leave annual conference equipped and inspired as leaders of the church. At this crucial time in the life of the church, we remember these words from Isaiah. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And you, when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. We indeed, my dear friends, can do all things through Christ our Lord, who strengthens us. Amen.